Good morning, good morning, good morning. Oh. Very squidgy sand in places. And now I've got nowhere to put my bag, so. And I'm extremely late this morning, completely cocked up in terms of setting my alarm. So I set the alarm for half past four when really it should have been four o'clock, to be honest. I should have been here half an hour to 40 minutes ago so that I could have shot and the colours were absolutely beautiful, saturated, so I could have run some four and eight minute exposures. But it's not to be, so. So the polarizer is off. I'm throwing on 1.2 soft grad. Okay. And uh, always recheck your ISO. My last shoot, I had it up to 3200. I'm going to now focus on this near rock. F16, eight seconds. Let's get one out. Let's get one in the bag, so to speak. Okay, so yeah, so all the audio um, was lost at this point. I don't know if you realised or if you noticed that on the previous image that there was uh, there was some light leak that was going on, and uh, you know I edited the image as best I could, um, but here I am just pointing the camera away from the sun at ninety degrees, and then I swing it back. Um, Neither had any effect on that light leak. Uh, the, the light was bouncing very, very strangely off the, off the filter array. And so uh, what I ended up having to do was to remove um, the uh, 1.2 soft grad and, uh, and, and just go with, with no filter. Um, uh, I'm not sure what the issue was. It was just some stray light that was just uh, bouncing into the scene. Maybe it was off the water. It possibly had come off the water and it was bouncing up onto the uh, filter array and then playing havoc um, on with the lens. So I recomposed my shot um, without those filters and, uh, and took, took that shot doing the same as I did previously, just without the filters and uh, exposing uh, to make sure that I didn't uh, blow out those highlights and was hoping to recover as many as much of the shadows as I required in post. Um, my main um, objective here, I was more than happy to photograph in silhouette with just a touch of detail coming through. And I think I, think I, uh, I achieved that, but I'll leave that up to you to decide. And uh, I'll put the next image up and, and tell me what you think. change of pace here, rather slight change of lens, uh, moving from the 23 millimeter previously giving us that wide angled um, look. Remember the 23 on, on uh, the 50-50 uh, 
Fuji gives us around about 18 millimeters uh, full frame equivalent. And uh, that lens was, was useless for punching in and catching these markers, which were further out, um, further out into the estuary. And as you can see, I'm focusing in on those four that are on the right hand side. Um, clear sky behind um, and thankfully actually some beautiful layers created by them. some um, low level cloud on, on that horizon that was catching the colour. What I particularly enjoyed about this uh, image were the layers of colours that run through. Um, you can just about see them on the on the viewfinder here. So taking that image now again with no filters and then just checking the histogram perfect and yeah I'll throw the, this one up now I was quite pleased with this image. So following uh, doing this quartet of markers, I decided I was going to uh, isolate one of those triangular topped uh, markers and try and do a, uh, a, a, a single image of that. And um, to be able to get the right one, uh, I realized I would have to shoot over this line of boulders. Um, I had wellies on as you can see, but I really couldn't venture out much further out um, because the water was steadily getting deeper the further out I got. So raising the uh, tripod and raising the camera uh, up high was my only other alternative, just to give us some clearance so I could punch in and over those bank of boulders that you can see to the right of the screen. And once that was done, I realized that um, once, once I'd adjusted the composition that was, is that I'd probably need a soft grad um, just to bring back the sky a little bit, uh, preventing any of, uh, any of the sky uh, blowing out. Uh, I was attempting to do these sh uh, in single shots, and as I said earlier, I really didn't mind having silhouettes because that's part of the look that I was going for. And so punching in and over those rocks, I was able to center in on one of those uh, markers. And once I had the marker in focus, I took my shot. Um, the first shot was at eight and a half seconds and then I decided to put on a three stop neutral density filter and shoot once again at uh, around 30 seconds. So I'll put them both up now, tell me what you think. slightly to the right I was able to uh, isolate this uh, little square marker that you can see in the composition now uh, along with the rock that was alongside it so um, just just a few meters and, uh, and suddenly I had clear water which was which was really fortuitous so I left the settings exactly as they were on the previous shot so uh, that was ISO uh, 100 f16 um, 30 seconds um, made possible by uh, the inclusion of that three stop neutron density filter.
actually saw this composition. Um, swung the camera around to the left slightly in landscape orientation. Exactly the same settings as before. Focused and locked the focus on this first little cluster of rocks with them beautiful markers in the background. And I was quite pleased with this image too. I think it was probably my favorite of the morning. So I'll pop it up and I hope you enjoy it too.